Today, it's violinist Ben Powell. You know, a lot of jazz music is written either for the trumpet, as we can hear, or the saxophone, and, and in those keys, and as, as wonderful it is to be able to play in all the keys on the fiddle, it's actually extremely difficult. And the violin is written to be a resonant instrument, and actually you find a lot of um, you know, classical music you won't find in D-flat or A-flat, I mean, of course there are, but generally speaking, you use the resonant uh, strings of the violin, and, and much of the music tonight I played were in those kind of resonant keys, and it really helps us violinists, so I think that's where I'm starting. My guest on this episode is pianist Lee Shaw. I once baked a a pie for Dave McKenna because... (laughs) I asked him to teach me Chelsea Bridge by Billy Strayhorn. And he said, okay, I'll do it for you if you'll bake me a pie. He was on the road with Alcon and Zoot Sims, so there was nothing very homey about that. And I said, fine. I didn't know how to cook, but I figured it out and (laughs) baked a pie and invited them all to my apartment for dinner. And he played it for me, and I taped it, and I learned it, and it's one of my favorite songs. Today's guest is pianist Hiromi Uehara. It's just like, you know, when you are walking down the mountain, you know, and then I happen to find amazingly beautiful fountains or waterfall or whatever here. And if I go to the, you know, if I take the same route the next day and knowing that there is a waterfall, it's not going to be as beautiful as when I first found it, you know. So I just try to find, go go to the route that I've never taken before, just hoping that there should be something more beautiful. My guest today is trumpeter Jason Parker. The people who are successful at social media are the ones who are not the hucksters, you know, everybody can smell a huckster a mile away. And if all you're doing is talking about your gigs and your bands and buy my CD and come to this gig, you know, people tune you out just as much as they tune out a commercial on television. And and so I I, I realized early on that I just needed to talk to people. My guest today is Chris Kelsey. He's a saxophonist, he's a critic, he's a writer, he's a blogger. go back and forth from being uh, an advocate because you know let's face it though there's a the world's kind of against us you know i mean we are in a very real sense all in this together at the same time i can't pretend like i you know i have a i listen critically i'm i'm my own worst critic so i can't pretend like uh everyone's the greatest musician i've ever heard and that every record i've heard is the greatest thing i've ever heard my guest today is Harris Eisenstadt. To me, it, it just isn't interesting to try and sound like anybody else. I mean, I couldn't do it very well anyway, so... So for me, the 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 respect for and adherence to, tradu- to tradition comes from um, 
trying to find your own voice. My guest today is Eric Deutsch. My guest today is drummer Chad Taylor. We usually get people, we don't get a lot of um, music students. <laughs> well said, sir. We get we get a lot of um, you know a lot of people just come out for curiosity, just to see what what the band is, and we get um, yeah, I don't know, just just uh, regular folks who come out, and, and uh, hopefully we win them over. When John Hollenbeck was at Yado for his retreat, I got to go there and interview him. Each of these compositions was commissioned by a different musical aggregation. How does that impact the actual composition of the pieces that you're going to deliver, or did it? Yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm trying to learn as much as I can about the group ahead of time. In some cases, maybe I know them, and um, I'm trying to find out as much as I can about the, the performance venue, what it's like, what, what are the acoustics like, what, what's this concert for, what other pieces are being performed on this concert. You know, I'm trying to get as much detail as I can to, to kind of figure out what that moment is going to be like and what would work and maybe not work in that context. And my guest today is Roger Kellaway. have a, uh, a five-year-old inside that's uh, just curious about all kinds of things and how they work. You know, how does an orchestra work? Or how does a jazz band work? How does a big band work? How does a film work? And I've just been curious about all kinds of things. You know, what, what's, a, what's an avant-garde piece like? What's a Mozart piece like? It's, uh, you know, all different genres are are interesting to write in. Thank you for listening, everybody. Bye. Bye. Bye.